Hello guys, so today I want to share a bit about full red attacking mentality. So you can change the uh, attacking mentality by using the D-pad, uh, press down or up twice to change it. You can see on the bottom left there in the nameplate. Uh, normally when, uh, when it is the start of the match, it's uh, in the white uh, color there in the middle. So this is a zero. So if you press up twice, this is the first red. Usually people call this plus one. And then one more, uh, double tap uh, D-pad up. Then this is the full red, also known as the plus two. Uh, if you go below, uh, we have the first blue is minus one and then minus two. All right, but today I want to talk about the full red, which is plus two. So bring uh, the attacking mentality up press the d-pad until it goes full red all right so what this do is uh, it will make your center backs goes forward if you don't put uh, the players to join attack on anyone so your center back one of your center back will go forward to join the attack during your possession and of course during uh, set pieces too but we're going to talk about uh, possession mainly in this video so uh, let's see uh, an example here without the join attack play join attack so with the red attacking mentality uh, full you can see there uh, Van Dyke running forward see you see Van Dyke running forward there so leaving the center backs behind so you probably don't want to do this uh, maybe in the late game or when you're looking for an equalizer that could be something that you can do but yeah, probably you don't want to do this dragging your center back out up front like that but that is an option that you can do if you want all right when you're desperate uh, if not something like this can happen no uh, center backs to cover so what you want to do instead is put the player to join attack to your uh, center midfielder or your right back that way you can have uh, four uh, four players up front let's uh, let's see if we put uh, Henderson to join the attack so Henderson will come up here and you will have four strikers and uh, you might be asking why you want to do this why not just put uh, four players in your gameplay like that instead of doing this well because you have the option uh, to do that uh, anytime that you want during the course of the game if you don't want Henderson to go up then you can just pull the attacking mentality back to white or plus one that way Henderson can go back to his position that way it's a bit more dynamic your uh, your formation instead of just being four attackers like this so with that you can uh, change any time that you want having four or three attackers with three midfielders like that so let's see in the game if we put the players to join attack uh, to Henderson here all right now you can see Henderson will run forward and join the attack and wait him to go you can see that oh. just giving the option there you can see that Henderson running forward uh, maybe let me just res reset this play here let's just clear this out to the back and now if you can see we have uh, four players up front Henderson here not going back down to defend so this is kind of thing that you can do uh, counter attack oh my god <laughs> I didn't score that <laughs> so uh, there are some cases you want to play with uh, full red because you have the additional player numerical advantage 
and of course you can also do this with the right back too this way your uh, if you choose to do this with your center midfielder is better because at least you have four uh, players defending during a counter attack and that is of course uh, if you use a uh, defensive instruction on the right back or the left back and if you use uh, anchor man then it'd be safer behind i think it's best to have at least three but it's better to have four during the counter attack so we can do this too uh, put uh, right on the right back here players to join attack let's reset it give to allison there and this is superstar difficulty for your information and uh, let's see here okay let's give a pass straight forward oh no i can't nope let me reset that back all right if we see the replay here we can also see a thing oh no it's not it's not yet let me quickly clear the ball out okay money and here then you can see there uh trend staying forward so that's a good thing about this full red a good counter-attacking opportunity couldn't get through again so it's a good idea to play with uh, this method and of course you can always turn it back down if you want to reset back your formation press the d-pad down again and then go into normal zero here then uh, alexander arnold will stay behind but if you want to make him stay just stay forward then pull that uh, red attacking mentality to full again you can see there uh, he's going forward and he will stay forward it won't drop down so be careful when you use this you can see there alexander arnold in front additional players that can help with your counter attack Sadio Mane to Wijnaldum Iago Salah Salah will take this goal now good save by De Gea so I think that's it for this uh, tutorial I uh, just want to let you know if you use uh, 532 so uh, this is also a good uh, formation to use the full red because you have three center backs uh, that way let's change here to maybe Kabak there if you use your players to join attack then you at least have uh, two players staying behind so there's a lot of options that you can do okay so only two players staying back there the center backs too so one will stay up oh uh who was it just now uh gomez right gomez will stay up let's see him up there oh that's bad you can see that gomez up here not going behind so try this out let me know in the comments how well it works for you uh, is it good to use full red or just use the formation straight away putting a good striker up front instead of using a player that is more suitable for defending but i usually use it for the center mid that way formations like 4-3-3 is a bit uh, dynamic a bit flexible this way if you if you have like a three center midfield here then one can go up like that sometimes depending uh, whether you want to choose 
when he wants to go. So let's say if you play like 10 minutes with full red, then go back to plus 1 for 10 minutes, then go back to full red again, plus 2 for 10 minutes. So it will confuse your uh, opponent, especially if you play against human player. So that is also one of the advantage uh, when playing against a human player. Uh, they can't uh, mark you because usually they will mark the forwards if they mark uh, if they mark uh, the center midfielder with their center midfielder, then it's a bit uh, bad because the center midfielder is going to go back and crowd the area. But most of the time, they're just going to mark your forwards. So when your center mid come forward, there will be uh, no marking on him most of the time. And one thing that you should take note is when using the players to join attack, uh, you can do this for three players but only one player will go forward these three will go forward during a set piece but during a possession uh, play only one player will go and usually it's the uh, center backs the deepest player uh, usually so you if you use this then Gomez will go if you uh, do this I think it's B. Henderson, the right back usually get override. So, center mid will go forward. So, usually these three doesn't uh, give any impact if you use the player to join attack because they will stay up front. But, there's a, a good idea too if you want to use this. If you want to use a counter attack, a counter target, I mean. Let's say if you want to put a counter target here and here and then uh, you can have your players to join attack for money and Henderson so four players will stay up front that's okay too so that's uh that's it I guess for this one let's just finish the first half here and we'll try to score one goals oh okay I have to score one goal and end this tutorial. All right. And Allison Kabak to Tiago. And you can see four players up front, so it'll be like a one on one situation with four players the pass was supposed to be for Salah but I don't know so here this is a good uh, tactics too if you play with frontline pressure because you have a lot of players up front to uh, press for the ball and here the player that uh, goes forward is with the players to join the attack Jordan Anderson there alright oh, it looks like I can't score a goal but you get the idea a lot of pressing opportunities a lot of players up front so usually it's going to be like a five on five situation like this then one player will come forward or here it will stay behind depends on you, you can put a anchor man behind or you can put a defensive instruction on the defensive mid here so that at least four players stay behind that will be better if you want to use a full red plus two so i guess that's it uh, let me know in the comments uh, if this is helpful and like this video if you enjoyed this one and you want to learn more about pass then you can subscribe i'll be doing a lot more of tutorials in the future and with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one